Hello, folks. How we doing? It's good to see ya. I'm happy to be here back with some emerald. It is lovely, lovely evening. Uh, it might rain this evening. It was really hot today. Um, I decided to go for a run outside, which was a major mistake, but you know. Hopefully it made me stronger, more resilient. Hi, JJ, how are you? Good to see you tonight. Um, so, as you can see, I've got no eggs. I've got no eggs. Um, you're doing good, good, good to hear. Um, because folks, off stream, I did a little bit of work because, you know, we already had basically a whole episode of me biking back and forth. I figured you didn't need to see that again. So, let me go into our PC here. And I am going to show you our blessed trio right here. We have our little Staryu, our little Beldum, and our little Bagon. These three Pokemon are about to become Titans, are about to become just just gods of the battle frontier. It's gonna be great, very excited. Um, so, we finally got our modest natural cure star you. I did get a timid natural cure one. I was thinking about doing speed, but we'll, we'll go with this one. Um, for Stevie, I didn't want to reset for Beldums for like the rest of my life, so I went with Lonely. I considered Adamant, um, but I didn't know if I wanted to use Psychic or not on this guy. Um, so, <laughs> which star? Uh, we're using Good Star. That's my vote anyway. Um, and then here we have... Um, our friend Bagon with a Brave Nature. And what the Brave Nature does is that it raises your attack, but it lowers your speed. And I was really, I, I was really going between this and Lonely, and Lonely would lower Bagon's de uh, defense. Um, I went ahead and went with this because even though we have a speed lowering nature, we do have this egg move Dragon Dance, which we're gonna utilize on his move set. So I think that'll help mitigate that a little bit. So that'll be great. Um, hello, Brody. How's it going? Um, <laughs> you're cheesing the results, Brody. You're cheesing the results. Um, but here's our squad. I still have to rename these guys. Um, so we'll get Staryu in here. Stevie's good. Um... And then bag on, of course. Um, it's funny, I actually hatched a couple brave bag ons, um, but the one that I just picked up had the best stats out of the three, so I just went with that one. Um, let's see here. Oh yes, I wanted to pick up these two as well. Um, oh yes, I will. But first, before I take him out of our, uh, take her, excuse me, out of our party, right here is the MVP of the egg hatching journey. This is Slugma the Slugma, and if you look at her ability, it is Magma Armor. I had forgotten about this, I knew about it previously, but I had forgotten that if you have a Pokemon with Magma Armor in your party, eggs hatch twice as quickly, which was lovely. Loved it. It was great. Helped immensely. Thank you, Slugma. Thank you for your service. Um, so now we'll get Ziggy in here. So we have all our HMs as well as our new Pokemon. Um, <laughs> um, yo, the goat. Yes, the goat is entering our, entering our party. Um, and we also have, uh, Blaine here at level 63 now because Blaine was producing eggs um, and actually we have Sky Attack on Blaine now. It just learned that. Um, and it was funny that we had to reteach Dragon Dance after, like, the first kind of section through the, uh, trying to hatch eggs. All right. So, let's see here. We have a lot of things that we can do now. Um... Because what we're going to start off with now 
is doing some EV training. And I'll try not to make this too boring, but basically, when you are doing EVs, it's like an invisible stat. You can have 510 total EVs, but you can only have 255 in one uh, particular stat. That is the max. So essentially, you can max out two stats. And that's basically what we're going to do. Um, I think we're probably going to put a little bit of EVs into a third stat, um, just because I'm anxious. And I don't know if these are like the optimal spreads for these Pokemon, um, for all of you uh, competitive masters out there, but that's they're what I came up with. <laughs> so we're going to roll with it. Um, so sad, poll said bad star. I, well, I don't know what to tell the poll. Um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pull rank on the poll. <laughs> We're tarred for this star, you. Come on. Um, alright, so, to begin, we are going to try to get some attack, speed, and HP IVs. Um, but seeing as all of our Pokemon have only, um, are only at level 5, I'm going to kind of start here at the beginning of the game, and we are going to just kind of knock out some of these bad boys here. Um, ah, one other thing that I want to point out before we get started is uh, we had this on our Torkoal for most of our playthrough. This is the Macho Brace. Um, what this is going to do is that whenever we knock out a Pokemon, it gives a certain amount of EVs. But, if you're holding the Macho Brace, that number of EVs will double. So that's really good for getting all of the proper EVs for our Battle Frontier team. So here, I am going to start with it on Staryu. Lovely. I'm actually not quite sure what um, the whole squad knows. I know Stevie only learns Takedown. Uh, what you got? Tackle, great. Oh yeah, Bagon's uh, moveset is wonderful, and even Steve Stevie's isn't bad. Um, I am I am a cheaty cheat, Brody. I'm very sorry. I'm I'm gonna be a cheaty cheat. Um, let's see. The only thing about the Macho Brace is that it lowers your speed. I think it halves your speed. Uh, excuse me. But here we have um, Zigzagoons and Poochienas. Or Poochinas is what they're probably called, which actually reminds me. I'm not going to have it there at first. Uh, I'm going to have it on Stevie or Bagon because they are more likely to be used on this route. Oh, a Wurmple. Um, what does a Wurmple give? A Wurmple gives an HP. Which isn't bad, that's actually one of the stats that I want to do for Beldum, so... <laughs> that's true, I guess. Mm. That's a glorious one-shot. So I'm gonna try to keep track of how many e uh, EVs each Pokémon earns. A Wurmple gives one HP EV. Um, but uh, some other Pokemon, like for instance, Beautifly, gives three special attack EVs. And each Pokemon gives a different EV. Um, and it's very interesting how it all works. And it's very... Um, just very peculiar. And not something that is completely clear to the player. Um... But that's kind of why, as you go through your playthroughs um, in these games, you will find that, let's say, you fight against another Pokemon that's the same level, um, and is the same Pokemon as well. Um, you'll find that yours is stronger than the NPCs, and that's because you have, like, stat experience or EVs or, you know, what have you. And this is interesting because we'll be able to use this on stronger Pokemon eventually, hopefully. Um, but, you know, we got to get some levels first. And unfortunately, with both Beldum and, um, whatchamacallit, 
Salamence being, uh, what's the word? Pseudo legendaries. They're going to take a while to train. So that's going to be great though. And as you saw, we just fought a Poochiena. Um, a Poochiena gives one attack, um, Eevee. So, so far the stats that we are training Beldum in are going to be attack and HP. That's going to be like the main thing. Um, but, uh, that'll be our main deal. Um, and eventually we're going to have to regroup here because this actually might kill our buddy Beldum, unfortunately. Yes, it did. Um, sure. We'll let Bagon just pick up this kill really quick. There we go, and that'll give Bagon an attack I uh, attack EV. Lovely. Whew. And I'm really gonna have to pay attention to like what's got the macho brace and whatnot, because I'm going to be like, you know, I'm gonna be counting. Um, because I want to I want to get like roughly like 200 EVs in my main two stats, and then um, maybe like I don't know. Uh, 50 or whatever in my other, my third stat. I guess it'd be 225 about. Um, let's see here. We'll stick with Beldum. Because we're, we're doing some good work here. Staryu is going to be interesting just because we... There is a spot where you can get a lot of special attack IVs. We are just not strong enough to really take advantage of that yet. But one thing we can do for Staryu is this. Um, Staryu is going to know the move Surf. So we are going to go ahead and teach that to Staryu. And that'll be a really nice strong move that should one-shot just about everything. Um, it comes into contact with, so that's going to be really useful for now. Alright, so Zigzagoon is a speed EV, and I do want to try to get some speed on Metagross, um, but it's kind of like that third stat. Um, I might give it a little defense also. We'll see. Bup, 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 bup. Like, so far, for example, Beldum has two attack EVs, four HP EVs, and four speed EVs. Um, and that is because the Macho Brace is doubling um, every one it obtains. And they'll finally grow level two, which is great. Hmm. And it is unfortunate because Beldum is not a strong Pokemon. It sure is not. Ooh, what's the prediction? Let's see. Ooh, will SEG get a shiny? Oh, um, I'm gonna say yes. Love that. Oh, what's up? What's up, uh, Aki Legion? Aki Legion, hi! Thank you for stopping in. Really appreciate it. Um, Aki Legion, is that, uh, that makes me think of, makes me think of Chainsaw Man. I don't know if that's what it's about, but welcome! Fellow Poke fan. I just realized you said that. Um, how you doing tonight? There we go. Oh, perfection. It's gonna give us another couple on attack. Oh yes, and then I'll raise our speed to six. Um, ah, good, good. Um, so what we're doing right now, Aki, is we are, um, oh nice, Ziggy. Uh, 
we are training our Battle Frontier team. We're trying to EV train them um, to get their stats up. Um, the only thing right now is they are at level 5. So we are kind of doing some... Just some low-level Pokemon here. Getting the Macho Brace on them. I'll swap to Bagon for now. Because I think that's going to go better. Um, because for our pal Bagon, we're going to try to train attack and speed. Um, and the two Pokemon that we're going to find most often here are going to be uh, Poochyena and Zigzagoon. And those are the two, those two Pokemon give attack and speedy beast, which is great. And we haven't even started on our, on our pal Staryu yet, but that's okay. So Aki, you say you are a fellow Poke fan. What did, what did you start with? I feel like I ask people that all the time. What Pokemon game was your, was your first? Da, 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 da. Blue! Okay, so you're an OG like me. I appreciate that. My first was, um, whatchamacallit, yellow. Oh, yeah. But my, uh, my heart is in Johto, though. Um, silver and crystal are my all time faves. Um, and Crystal was the one that we did last time. I have not... I have not really tried to do any of the uh, Battle Tower in Crystal. I know a lot of people really enjoy it. I, I haven't really ever even done any like battle facilities in other games. I really just enjoy the Battle Frontier here in emerald honestly the only thing about using the macho brace here is that we're pretty much always moving second which is just really annoying um all you last you played was crystal awesome hopefully there we go Mm. On the DS, very nice. Um, so have you played all the games? Or were there some that you skipped? Um, a lot of people say that uh, many Pokemon... Um, hold on. Many Pokemon fans kind of take a break at some point. I have to end the predict? I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, many people kind of took a break um, from Pokemon at some point in their life. Um, for me, that was Gen 5. Well, I'm going to triple check that this gives HP EVs. Yes, it does. It gives one. Bagon's getting plenty of HP. Um, so HP is kind of like the third kind of auxiliary um, stat that I'm training um, with Bagon. So I'm not going to try to get too much on him um, for this, but, you know, it's good to get a little bit here. Um, oh, you definitely took a break around this generation, I see. I see. Um... Yeah, I really love Generation 3 a lot. Um, ooh, okay, we should live through this. I always say that Generation 3 probably has, like, the best engine, in my opinion. Excuse me. It just feels like really... It just feels really good to play, honestly. All right. 
I'm gonna see what else can we find up to the north. Wingle, Wingle gives a speed. Um, and I think they should be a little bit higher level up here. Let's let's check up here. And it's kind of insane to be back at the beginning of the game. Uh, what is best? Ooh, interesting. Um, I mean, I'll go ahead and go with Ziggy. I'll go with Ziggy. Um, okay, this is great. We haven't found too many speed Pokemon, but here is one right here. That's kind of why I hopped up here. Because we want speed EVs on all of our Pokemon, honestly. Um, but for Bagon and for Staryu, they are going to be two of the main stats that we invest in. Um, oh, hello! Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Um... Let's see. Hi! Where did I get a bag on, you ask? Well, um, we you get a bag on in Meteor Falls in this game. There is a specific room in Meteor Falls. You have to have, uh, what you call it? You have to have Waterfall for it. Um, so that is where you catch it. But for this particular bag on, as you can see, we had to get it from an egg to teach it this move right here, Dragon Dance. So that's why it's only at level six. <laughs> I wish it was um, a higher level right now, but that's how we got uh, our bag on. That is the story. I am training EVs, it's true. Um, the last couple streams, we were trying to get our squad in order. Um, and now that we finally have it, we are just uh, doing some EV training and kind of getting the squad leveled up, which is delightful. Um, oh, hello, Mom. Hi. Um, ooh, my stat move plan for this little weapon. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you everything. Um, so for Bag on here, we have a, a little bit of a mixed set. Um, it's going to be Dragon Dance, but we also have Aerial Ace. Earthquake and Flamethrower. I really like to have Flamethrower. Um, is that my real mom? <laughs> it is not. Um, she probably has no idea how to how to how Twitch works at all. Um, um, so it's gonna be. Oh, there will be a nickname. I have. Uh, I forgot to do that. Actually, I'm actually going to do that after I am done talking to you about this. <laughs> um, so. Yes, uh, we've got Aerial Ace, Flamethrower, Earthquake, and Dragon Dance with Bagon. Um, for our friend Stevie the Beldum, it's probably going to be Meteor Mash, Shadow Ball, Brick Break, and then the last move we can maybe do Psychic, maybe do Sludge Bomb, maybe do Hyper Beam. We have a few options there. Um, hey, Loctess, how are you doing? Um... And then for Star You here, um, we're definitely gonna have Ice Beam, Surf, and Thunderbolt on this bad boy. And that last move might be Psychic, might be Calm Mind. I'm kind of leaning, just giving it all offensive, just teaching it Psychic as well. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm pretty happy about it. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but uh, yeah. Now, nah, thank you for reminding me, because we need to name these fools. And that is in Slateport City. Now, our names are already set in stone, um, because in some other streams we figured out what we were going to name these guys. So, um, when we were looking for Staryu, we were originally uh, fishing? And it reminded us of our friend Harry, um, Harry the Melodic. And just so Harry's uh, spirit lives on in our Battle Frontier squad here, 
um, this star you will be known as Harry Jr. There we go. Perfect. Um, love that. I can cross that off my list. Um, okay. And then we had another great um, person in chat name our Bagon. And this Bagon is going to be named Arrow. A E R O. Arrow. Because he will one day give flight as a Salamence. Take to the skies. Um, so that is lovely. I'm glad we did that. Um, okay. So we can continue on our EV journey here. Let's go back and go to Old Dale. Perfection. There's one other thing that I think we can do with this stream. It'll kind of break up some of the monotony of EV training. Let's see. But for now, we're gonna hop back here in this grass. And again, we're slower, which is annoying. There we go. It's great to get that paralysis because then we can... Oh, crap. I messed that up, though. Because <laughs> then we can outspeed afterwards. Lovely. All right. Lovely. So... Sorry, I got to keep track of this. We are up to 13 attack EVs for our friend Bagon. Um, <laughs> still have over 200 to go. So we'll see. Oh, nice one shot. Lovely. Do, 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 do. And you know, I've trained Battle Frontier teams in the past, and I haven't really been too terribly strict about um, exactly how many EVs that I train, I, as long as I do like some sort of. Okay, cool. Um, as long as I have some sort of spread that's generally favorable. Um, because at the end of the day, I had a couple uh, natures that I was looking for for some of these. Um, and at the end of the day... I was just like, I don't think it's going to matter too terribly much as long as the nature isn't horrible. Um, let's see. What do we got? We'll do that. Um, perfect. And that is another... That was Zigzagoon, actually. We got earlier. There we go. Ah, uh, yes, Wingle. Hello, friend. Perfect. Um, that'll take us to twelve there. And yes, the macho brace that we have here is really helping. I'm, uh, that is the main reason that you take the detour um, there north of Mauville City and defeat those, defeat that family, uh, because they reward you with the macho brace. Uh, oh, you lost the game music? Yeah, sorry. I, I got it here. I just turned it off sometimes, because when I do something like super monotonous like this, um, I will sometimes speed it up, and when I speed it up, the music gets all warbly. But, you know, sometimes I don't mind too much. I don't mind if you don't. That's what I always say. I just try to save your ears, generally. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's no big deal. But I like to have the game music, too. That's kind of part of the vibe. Sometimes speed up can kind of ruin that a little bit. Sometimes you just gotta stop and smell the roses, you know? Let's see. 
let's see, this is gonna be 18 on arrow speed. Lovely. All right, getting to level eight is good. Let's try, let's get star you something. Um, great. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -da. Okay, perfect. Oh wow, that was such an interesting little animation. Hold on, I just want to make sure. Oops. I gave him the Macho Brace, right? Yes, I did. Ah, yes, and we have Surf now. It's also nice to have light screen. Right off the bat. There we go, baby. I lost connection on my keyboard. I lost connection on my mouse too. There we go. So let me charge that up a little bit. That's very interesting. I guess I just let it go too long. Um, all right. So this can be a little annoying just because we don't want to attack EVs on Staryu. That is specifically the reason that we got the Modest Nature. Um, excuse me. Because it increases our special attack, um, but decreases our attack. And the reason that we don't mind that at all is because Staryu is not using any attacking moves in his set. Um, there we go. And luckily Staryu grows a lot quicker. A lot quicker. And we're getting these nice speed EVs. Let me triple check on this one. Yes, Zigzagoon is a speed. Love that. Um, and as we get stronger, we can go find some higher level Pokemon and we can train on them so they can hopefully give us more EVs. Dun, dun. Um, there is a really nice spot. It's north of Mount Chimney. It's that spot where they have all the ash falling on the route. Um, that is a great spot to train for special attack because both Slugma and Spinda, which you can find there, will give you um, special attack EVs. There we go. Just letting Beldum pick that. Stray attack EV up for a second. Lovely. Um, but let's see, how, how was my day today? Um, it was pretty good. We didn't do a ton. Um, like I said, I worked out, did, just, just kind of did some this and that things. Um, we cooked a really good dinner once again. I feel like we have really been on our dinner game a lot lately, um, which has been delightful. We made something that we affectionately refer to as good chicken, and guess what? It's really good. Ah, water gun. Yes, I'll go pardon. It doesn't make too much of a difference because we got surf, but hey. But hey. What the hey, so to speak. Great. Can a surf knock out this wind goal? I wonder. There we go. <laughs> Let's see. Doug Doug, I don't even know who that is. There we go. Lovely, Harry. Perfection, that's gonna get us to 10.
Who is Doug Doug Brody? Um, there we go. <laughs> he can't end stream until he gets below 10,000. Below 10,000, what? Viewers? Oh my gosh. So is that why everybody's raiding him? So he has all those viewers? And he can't end his stream? But -da -da -da, there we go. About to say. It's all Poochiena all day. Um Alright, that'll take us to sixty. And there's another one. Viewers, that's insane. That is crazy, man. Cause right now I have six viewers and I am so happy with that. <laughs> that is absolutely delightful for me. Um, you know, one day you'd like it to be more, but I'm glad that we have a, a little community, you know? Just good positive vibes. That's all I ever want, kids. All I ever want. Um, alright, so that'll get us to 20. And that'll get Harry Jr. to level 7. Okay, so... We... Let me hop down here. Excuse me. I'm gonna heal our squad. Just while I'm thinking about it. So we got a lot of good speed IVs there on... Or EVs, rather. On, um, Staryu. And one thing that I want to do is, there we go, let me get Blaine in the front. Um, in order for our friend Staryu to evolve, we need a Water Stone. Um, and I talked about how you, uh, we can get a Water Stone earlier in the game, but um, now we can actually do that quest. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's see here. Okay, I've got I've got some super repels. Yeah, I spent all my money like getting flamethrower and trying to get Pokemon out of the daycare. Oh yes. All right. So as you know, or as I've said, um, there's a person in this little shack here that if we give them a shard, a uh, particularly co uh, colored shard, they will trade us an evolution stone for that shard. So now that we're here, um, we can use Dive on this route, and this leads nowhere, so I'm going to pop back up. We can use Dive on this route um, to do a little quest to find all of the shards. Alright, and again, I knew this didn't lead anywhere, but we're able to find a pearl down here! You can dive for a pearl! Oh, it's delightful. And I just picked it up from that little dark spot in the sand, as you can see. All right. All right. So, let me see. This should be one. So, we can dive here. And as you can see, there are some uh, secret split paths here. We have our seaweed that we can get through. And now we can dive or rise back to the surface to an area that we could not access before. And once we hop here... We found our yellow shard. This will help us get the Thunderstone from that fellow in that island shack. And now we just gotta find the blue one. There we go. And this dive music, I mean... I have appreciated it before, but my goodness, it is so good. There we go. Ba -da. Okay. And I kinda am gonna go like up and down the route here because I just wanna make sure I don't miss <laughs> any of these spots. 
Um, use another super repel. Because there are a lot of these tiny little dark spots uh, scattered throughout this route. Okay, this leads nowhere, but I want to make sure. Um, oh, can I do Yu-Gi-Oh! on Friday? I probably won't be able to stream on Friday this week, Brody. As a matter of fact, I probably won't be able to stream until... I think I might try giving it a go on Sunday. Uh, because my normal Saturday slot, I won't be able to, unfortunately. Uh, we have a lot of uh, family stuff um, that day. Let's see. All right, so now we're at another previously inaccessible area. And if we scoot all the way down here, ooh, we're going to have another little connection. Let's see where this leads us. Let's see. Ooh, a very tiny little square to come up. Ah, uh, yes, here it is. What is it? Green shard. This will get us our leaf stone. So, yes, um, it's nice that you can get all of the evolution stones this way. This is a really cool way to do it. Um, the only thing is you can't do it until you have seven badges, which seems a little bit late to me. Um, but you know, it is still really cool. If you could do it a little earlier, I think that would be awesome. Um, or if you could just get the stones a little earlier, that would be awesome. I love in the original games um, how you can just buy the evolution stones <laughs> at the Mart in Celadon City. That just simplifies everything. Okay. I'm kind of just kind of weaving this way to see if I can make my way through all of these dive areas. Oh, here's another heart scale. Um, we can use that to uh, relearn a previously um, known move if we want to. Um, yes, I know that there are a couple that really split off like this. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Hmm. All right, this takes us somewhere nice. Love it. What is this? Red shard. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> the one we're looking for is the blue one. I mean, I wanted to grab all of them anyway, but uh, just because it's fun, but there we go. Ooh. Ooh, a calcium. That'll come in handy for our friend. Um. Da -da -da -da. Well, I'm actually going to look into that in a second, but. Uh, but that'll come in handy for our friend Staryu. Um, is that the only spot you can go? I think so. Yeah, this is where we came from. Great. Pop that super repel. One second. Do -do -do -do. Oh, wow. Okay, so that is wonderful. So we're going to use this right now because this calcium is going to give our Harry 10 special attack EVs, which is something we were looking for. That is great. Um, and you can use calciums and like other vitamins like that, it looks like, until they hit um, 100. And then after that, you'll have to raise their EVs the old-fashioned way. Fighting Pokemon. Um, <laughs> don't worry, Yu-Gi-Oh! will return. Yu-Gi-Oh! will return eventually. Okay. Okay, that was the one I just was. Um, Alright, let's hit this guy. Still looking for that blue shard. All right. 
and the possibilities are just seemingly endless. Oops, not yet. I'm gonna see what's over here. And there are a lot of these little branches that you can go follow. Is this our blue? Finally, our blue shard. Hooray. Um... I'm still gonna see if there's anything else that we can find in our dive, on our dive expedition <laughs> here. So let's go in here. Because I know we could come up here. Ah, there's nothing. How about that? It was a ruse, it was a ploy to get me to waste my time. How classic. Ah, here's something. A Carbos! Excellent. Um, that is going to raise our speed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give that to Staryu as well. Once we have a moment. Um, I don't know, that might be the last little spot on this route. Oh, no, there's a little guy right here. Ooh, and here we just have like a big patch of seaweed item down here as well. We got a green shard. Oh, very cool. Um, so it looks like you can get an extra leaf stone that way. All right, so let's repel once more. And this will get us over to our friend so we can trade him for some stuff. All right. So now that we have collected our shards from our dive quest, we will trade our blue shard for the water stone. That is great. That'll help us evolve our star you. And we can just keep going. I'm just gonna trade him everything that we've got. Um, oh, you've been watching while you play Pokemon Black. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I was saying um, earlier how I didn't really like Generation 5 when they came out, um, but I know it's very much a favorite for other people, and um, I've, I've grown to appreciate them for sure. And they're definitely something that we'll play here at some point. I don't know when. Um, but uh, I'll definitely... I'll play all the Pokemon games on this channel at some point. I mean, um, I love the franchise, baby. And a lot of people love it. So I want to share with the people, you know. Um, let's see. So here we have our Carbos, which we can use on Harry. Lovely, that is great. So that's gonna bump him up to 30. Excellent. Um, you know, nice indeed, Aki. So is, uh, do you know Chainsaw Man, Aki? Is that what your name is after, or is it just something else? I think Aki is also a uh, fall in Japanese, if I'm not mistaken. Um, something that we also can do, um, and it's funny, uh, something that we can do is that we can evolve our Staryu into Starmie right now, um, because honestly, the only reason that you wouldn't do that is to learn more moves, um, have access to more moves, and if I'm being perfectly honest, Every single move that our Starmie is going to learn is going to be either a TM or an HM. So we might just go ahead and evolve our uh, Harry Jr. into Starmie right now. I mean, we might as well, right? We went out, uh, out of our way to get the Waterstone anyway. Um, ooh, Akide. Like the, like the manga anime. Um, yes, I don't know. I'm not familiar with that one. Um, very cool, very cool. 
Um, okay, so... I think I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna use our Water Stone on our friend, Harry Jr. And we are going to have ourselves a Starmie. Oh. Look at that gorgeous creature. Starmie is such a cool Pokemon. Uh, it is both, like, awesome and underrated at the same time. I don't know. Oh, Akira. That's what you're saying. I've never seen Akira. Um, I know it's a real, like, anime classic. Um, but I've never seen it. I'd like to see it at some point in my life. In my lifetime. Um... So yeah, here's Harry Jr. the Starmie, level 7. Um, I guess it might have been silly because it might take more experience for Harry to evolve, for, for Harry to level up now, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> um, but it'll be way easier for it to do so. So that's cool. Um, we still got Beldum and Arrow. Uh, Stevie right here, that's going to be the tough one. Um, let's see. We still have a little more time here. What else can we do right now? I'm gonna size. I'm gonna try something kind of crazy. Um, is I'm going to see if we can start training on this route a little earlier than I thought. Um, because Harry Jr. is only a level 7, but it is a Starmie, and Starmie's very powerful. And that might be able to help us. Okay, so they each only give one, though. That's fine. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so here we have Spinda. And Spinda is going to give us special attack EVs. Um, ah, faint attack. So this might not work. No, it's not going to. <laughs> oh, well, I gave it a try. Starmie's not quite ready yet. Um, you know what? Just for fun. I never use this move ever because... Oh, I don't even remember what it looks like in this game. Um, oh. What does it look like here? Oh, that is such a cool animation that annihilates this Spinda off the face of the earth. Um, I'm a scaredy cat for not using Bad Star. I mean, hey, I will not, uh, I will not argue with you. I am, I am a bit of a scaredy cat. Um, cause you know, like I said, I just really, I just want us to win, man. I just want us to win. Um, let's see what we can find over here. Um, I know Ralts will give a special attack, um, Eevee, which is nice. Ah, there we go. Repel wore off at the exact correct time. Okay, cool. So we still got Ziggy's here that we can get some of those, some more of those speed EVs with Starmie. It was really nice to find that calcium in that Carbos, honestly. Um, I'm, I feel like there's probably more of those that you can find throughout the game. Um, I will let Belda pick this up. Let's see. Um, let me do this right now. Ooh. I gotta plug in my mouse. I left my my keyboard and my mouse turned on for too long, it looks like. So this is Low Tad. I think Low Tad is a 
bit more rare for this route. It looks like Lotad is going to give us a special defense EV, which we're not particularly interested in. Um, we want a full, do we want a little? Yeah, we want a little HP. We want a little HP on Harry. So we'll pack, we'll snag that, we'll pick that up. Um, excellent, hey? Yeah, here in the early game, we really got those speed EVs going. Honestly, it is really nice just um, using Starmie because I hatched so many Staryu. I hatched so many. It was crazy. Um, that I am kind of tired of seeing Star You. <laughs> I'm still trying to see that shiny. There we go. Um, um, So it's going to get to a point where um, our EVs are pretty much maxed out. Um, let's see. So this will be at six. And that will be great because then we're not really going to be worried about um, how we are leveling up our Pokemon. That'll kind of give us a little bit more freedom. Um, specifically, we can use some of the rare candies that we have. That'll be awesome. Um, let me hop down here, actually. Because that one spot wasn't too terrible for Beldum. Um, excuse me. And I will get some Eevees on Beldum. Ooh, how many shinies have I found in the wild all time? Um, not a lot. Um, I'm not going to count Legends Arceus because encountering shinies in that game is so much easier. Um, but I remember in silver I found a shiny Rattata. So that's one. <laughs> um... I remember in Violet, I found a shiny Masquerade, um, which was really cool. I tell you what, off the top of my head, those are the only two I can think of. I know there's more, but I just can't think of it. Um, oh, I gotta make sure I give Beldum the Macho Brace. Um, so this will take him to seven. And I, you know, I know that people can get, like, the shiny charm and whatnot. Um, that's just not anything I've ever usually done, like completing the Pokedex or whatever. Oh, I still didn't give it to him. What am I doing? What am I doing, gang? There we go. I'll give us an HP. Yes, I want to... Not you. Oh, I gotta get rid of those Thunderstones. There we go. I'll give you the Macho Brace, Stevie. Yeah, Stevie is definitely gonna have the hardest time here. Just because it only knows Takedown until um, it evolves. I think at level 20 it's going to evolve into Matang. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, Takedown's pretty good. Um, for this point of the game, but it's always going to do some recoil. Oh, you've only found two? Oh, wow, twinsies. Um, I feel like I found more. And like like I said, in Pokemon Legends Arceus, I think I found like five in my first playthrough just because it's so much easier. Um, oh, 20, then 45. Nice, Brody. Um, uh, 
And that game's a little different because, like, they're all spawning in the overworld, like, all at once, so your odds are uh, obviously going to go up because you are just in encountering so many more. Um, that's actually really nice for Beldum, the uh, Wurmples, because they actually can't hurt him. Where Poochiana, can you stack all like that? I'm not sure. I haven't been paying attention. Will this kill Stevie? It will not. Nice, Stevie. There we go. And level seven. Excellente. Okay, that is lovely. I do gotta heal, though. Do, 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 do. Well, folks, um, that might just about do it for me tonight. Um, that's pretty, you know, that's the, that's the plain song of it, you know? Um, at this point, now that we have found our um, correct Pokemon that we want to use, we can just start EV train them, training them like we want and we can start um, just leveling them up, generally. I'm um, sorry, I'm going to deposit these stones. I'll sell those things while I'm talking to you here. Um, so yeah, um, it'll be really exciting to kind of get those up to a level where we can, uh, like, more optimally EV train. I might do a little bit of work off stream again. Um, just to make sure that happens and we can have a nice, fun, entertaining time, um, with our Battle Frontier journey. Um, so I'll sell those off, so that's great. And amazing, folks. I am so happy that we have our team. We even have our Starmie. Um, but it's going to be even more exciting when we start, um doing the Battle Frontier itself, which we will be getting to soon, now that we have our squad. Um, thank you so much, Aki, for joining us. Um, thank you so much, uh, let's see, Tony Nuevo, thank you for joining us. Um, I knew we had another new person in here tonight. Um, I think you followed as well, which is lovely. Um, Thanks a lot, folks. Sorry I'm rambling. And I will see you all, um, not Saturday. It's looking like I might try to do a Sunday stream for those of you who are just lounging around on Sunday. Um, but until then, um, <laughs> yes, Brody says raid Doug Doug if you'd like. And um, until then, I appreciate you all. Have a good night. Peace out, kids. Oops. My mouse was plugged in. Now, peace out, kids.